Welcome builders, Andy is your here. Welcome to another tutorial. This is using the 5x5 five five building system. Let's have a quick look around this house. So I would call this maybe a mayor's house. It's definitely a fortified house. It's up and off the ground. You'd probably have some sort of um, basement down below here. As you can see, plenty of room in there. There's some little extensions on the side, a chimney, um, some pretty crafty little windows, which I quite like, a nice tower on the side. And most importantly, this is easy to build. I guarantee it. it uses my five by five building system. As you can see, the space inside is pretty large indeed. Um, oops, you didn't see this, right? <laughs> Nobody, no, don't look, look away. You didn't know. You need to put some stairs inside, but this place is pretty big and epic inside and there's even space from like a big great hall in here. So I haven't done the interior. That is down to you. You can also download this as well on my Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Andy Isura. And there's also a build guide, more details about that later in the video. Okay, let's learn how to build it. So the main block you're going to have to grab first of all is some stone bricks. So we're going to go four blocks high. Missing gaps of three and joining up the tops. And this makes a five by five shape, four blocks tall. Underneath, I'm going to add some upside down stone brick stairs on all four sides. Hey, if you like this kind of five by five tutorial video, don't forget, hit that subscribe button and tap the notification bell and that way you'll find out about all my videos. On top, I'm gonna to add some upper slabs of Ocus Woodus. And we need a few of these. We need a few of these shapes. So just repeat this shape again and again and again. And let's count out exactly how many of these shapes we need. So we need two in a row, side by side, and then we're gonna extend this along. So that's two, four, six, eight, 10, 12 of these little squares in total in that direction. And then change the direction. You've got two, four, six, eight and 10 in that direction. So there's 22 of those little squares in that shape in total. Underneath, I'm gonna make kind of an inside layer of normal cobblestone all the way around. And this would be three blocks high. And then we'll just puncture some windows in as well and they're gonna make these windows because it's a fortified house gonna make these iron bars on this bottom level so it's a much more defended base and that is the base the basic shape of this build let's spin the camera around give you guys a good look at all the sides of this now what I'm doing here is running uh, around with some slabs I think I put some extra slabs on there by mistake, but that is some nice slabs, upper slabs of stone bricks. Right, now we want to build our next part, which is gonna be made of spruce. So spruce wood in these four locations, add on three more blocks to make four blocks high in total, and it's the usual five by five shape, which we love. Connect all the tops. Add yourself in some, uh, again, just oak wood slabs and put these pretty much everywhere on top of where you've got oak below, you want oak above. It's as simple as that. So all we have sticking out around the side is that upper uh, ring of stone brick slabs. Okay, we're gonna do another layer up. Now these go in certain places. You can see these are gonna go right at the very end. Again, five by five, four high spruce with oak planks in the middle. So do the corners and the ends. Ignore what I'm doing there, ignore that. That's a mistake at the maker. Okay, we're gonna fill in this um, next layer with bone block. I think bone block is an excellent block to use. It looks like wattle and daub. Put yourself a little window in as well. If you haven't got lots of bone block, you could use white wool, maybe concrete, maybe lots of different colors actually. There's a whole bunch of different things. You could even use wood as well. I'm building in creative mode, so I, can, I have infinite resources. I'm using some bone block right there and adding in my nice plain glass window, stained glass maybe is something you would want to use as well. 
Okay, we're going to build up some walls this time. So it's not a full, complete 5x5 five five shape. It's just the walls. And it's these two gaps. So that forms kind of these big halls. So whenever you've built this house completely, you've got these big spaces here, which could be two big great halls, maybe a conference hall. <laughs> conferences, yes, because that's what they did in medieval times. They had conferences, Andy. GG. No, banquets. Big banquets with huge tables. There we go. Spin the camera around so you have a nice, easy look at that. Looking very plain, looking very ordinary. Uh, the joy of these builds is to add the detail in a little bit later on. Boy, I love the 5x5 system. Hopefully you do as well. And I really enjoy when you guys send me pictures of these. So please do follow me on Instagram and send me a DM of your builds, especially if it's a 5x5 build. Okay, this next floor up here, we're going to add some Ocus Woodus Plancus and it's just a simple three by three shape. Um, underneath the windows though, I'm gonna add some uh, oak wood stairs, simple as that. So that this detail just simply goes all the way around the entire build. Simple as that. Um, I think it's now time for a roof. Now I'm using brick for the roof. You may not want to use brick if clay is in short supply. I think in latest versions of Minecraft, clay is a bit easier to come by. But again, you could use absolutely any blocks that you like for the roof. I'm going for this brick. I think it looks really, really nice. It's in a red brick. So there's your key blocks there. And we're just going to form a usual, normal little diagonals going up here with the stair blocks. Upside down, correct the way up. Upside down, correct the way up. All the way up until you meet at a point. And I'm going to put upside down correct the way up facing out the way and then an upside down block behind that it's going to bring up the spruce wood and add some oak planks three two one three two one and then extend the brick like that and that's pretty much all you need to know about the roof it really is simple we've got slabs brick slabs on top and i'm using a few commands here just to speed up the construction of the roof. Oh, that was a bit too far. There we go. This corner here is just a very, very simple corner. I haven't done too much detail here at all. A simple Minecraft roof corner. I'm sure you can all do this in your sleep. Pull those slabs across, pull the rest of the brick across like that. And then we're going to do the other end here. I'm actually only going to do the left hand side. The right hand side gets taken up by a tower, an andesite and brainy coral tower. So I'm not going to do the right hand side there of that gable end in brick. But it's just a question of uh, extending the brick, joining it up into a nice corner. There we go. Super simple roof, but as you can see, we're going to put some really, really fancy windows into this roof, which I really like doing. And again, I'm not going to go all the way to the end because there's going to be a bit of a tower there. So I'm just going to leave that off and make sure I put my slabs on top. But there you go. That is the basic structure of this fortified house. Three levels, each level four blocks high. Very, very simple indeed. We'll just spin the camera around nice and slow so you get a really good view of this build. I'm sure you guys can add even more detail than me. Wait to the end of the video, see how much detail I've put in. I bet you could add even more detail as well. Hit that like button on this video if you enjoy these kind of tutorials. They take a long time to make, so I really appreciate uh, some likes as well. Okay, that's the camera moved nice and slowly. What we're going to do is jump right down into first person mode. So, this is where we are now, as you can see. This is what we managed to do in the speed build. I'll quickly show you around again nice and slowly, so you can see exactly where you are if you're following along. I'd love to see this house if you are following along. Send me pictures on Instagram, I'd love that. Okay, so this is where we need to get to and a heck of a lot more detail. So we're gonna take it bit by bit until we've built up all the detail that we need around this thing. And I'm sure you could actually add even a lot more detail yourself. I just noticed that this, this really should be a long one. I'm not gonna actually put this block down because I need this in a second as well. But 
First thing we're going to do is build this tower here. It is 20 blocks tall. So let's get this started right here. So I'm using polished Andy is Yoda site and it's actually forming part of this wall here. That's why I left that corner off. So we're going to just take this right down here. I'm going to get rid of these bits here and take down all this as well. In fact, I need to just take off this whole corner like this. There we go. And even into here as well and all these blocks and then all this gets taken off as well. So that whole corner gets invaded with the tower. So what we're going to do here is go one, two, three, four, five, two, three, five, a little five by five square on the bottom. That's going to form our tower. Now what I do want to do is take out these bits here and put in some dead brainy coral like that. Bring it up by one block and then fill in the dead brainy coral and that forms the structure of our tower and that needs to go all the way up 20 blocks high in total. I'm going to use a little touch of world edit to just to speed things up. So if I do slash slash stack nine up with my Java edition world edit, uh, that makes this exactly 20 blocks high. So just confirm one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty blocks high in total. Around the top, I'm going to go for some stone brick stairs. This is my usual five by five tower. If you've been following some of my tutorials over the last year, you've probably seen this a number of times. Upside down stone brick stairs. Then I'm going to go for chiseled stone bricks. One, two, three, four, three, oops. So it's in the corners and then like that, in the corners and then you've got two in the middle. Fill in those gaps with stone brickus. Once all your faps are gilled in, then you need to put in some stone bricks right on top of the chiseled, and that makes you a nice little tower like that. There we go, a nice easy peasy tower. Um, right here in the middle, I'm going to go for some of these, which are the simply Andy's Yoda, Andy is Yoda site, polished Andy's Yoda site. I'm going to go for like three or four, like one or maybe five of these. One two, three, four, five, I don't know, five or six of these. Normally I would do seven. I think I've done five over there. Anyway, I'm gonna add in my little trademark flag. Boom, like that, and there we go. That is the tower done on the corner. Looking pretty smart so far. Okay, so to complete this kind of little corner section here, we're gonna add on with a gap of three, one, and a gap of three, one, Gap of three, one should be opposite there with a nice gap of three. And then we're going to have one there as well. We're going to make a bit of a structure at the bottom of this here. Okay, so let's get on with this. Um, let's take away again. We could take away these and these like that. This does seem to be a bit of an extra, <laughs> an extra run. Oh, I don't, why, why is that? Why was that an extra? We don't want an extra run of these. That was weird. Did you see that? I don't realize, I must have done that by accident when I was doing the time-lapse part of this build, but that all looks fine to me now. There, yeah. Hmm. That was weird. Anyway, build this up. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. And just come across the usual five by fives. Four high, five by five little sections. There we go. And in here, in the middle, we can put some uh, wooden slabs to uh, fill in these little gaps here. And at this point we can actually choose a nice door. Um, I'm just going to go for my usual favourite spruce door. That can go just there. And then we can start to put some windows in. And obviously the same height of those windows we put windows. Same height of those windows, you put windows as well. Those windows don't. So this actually makes a gap of one, two, three, window. One, two, three, window. One, two, three, window. And that tells you exactly where to put 
all these windows. And on the inside, you could put some slabs as well. I'm not going to bother with the interior of this build, as I've said, but you could put some slabs there on the middle to represent each floor. For example, do 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 do. Just for a very quick example, you would make a little burst into the stair, right there, as you can see. And same underneath as well. You would break into your stair. Just like that and there you go that's how you would connect all the floors on the inside okay great uh, what I'm gonna do here is grab some hmm, I think I'm gonna grab some oak logs one two three four some spruce fences and yeah these these beautiful stone brick upper slabs can just actually extend all the way around for a little smidgen of detail and come all the way across the back looking mighty fine there we go all right excellent progress oops let's put these back boop, boop. there we go great stuff okay so um hmm. what do you think should be the next stage hmm Hmm. I think probably I'm going to do this little thing in the corner here, which is going to be the staircase up. So I'm going to take away those um, slabs there and just replace these with a little three by three section here, a little three by three section of stone bricks. You can just fill all these in like that and just basically bring that down to the ground. There we go. That's going to form the basis of our staircase up the way like that i'm going to come up here like that up here like that and hmm. hmm yeah let's actually bring this out by one again there we go bring that out by one that's where i think i want to start my staircase right in there i'm going to grab some cobblestone stairs to do my Staircase one there, there, and just keep on going until you're at the base. And that's going to be my little staircase like that. You could leave it like that, but I think that looks a bit unfinished. So we're going to go like that. There we are. There is the staircase done. Same on this side. Just do that. And then probably that block should be like that. And there we go. That is a little bit of staircase. I like that little staircase, actually. That is quite cute. So... We do have some sort of fancy windows to put in next. So I'm going to show you how to build one of these fancy windows and then they're going to be two more on this side and three or four more on the other side. I think it's four on the other side. So first of all, we're going to just fill in this gap here right to the top. That's very easy so far, isn't it? Look at that. Nice and easy. Then we're going to grab some cobblestone stairs there, there, there and there. Okay easy so far it is easy so far okay underneath we're going to take away that slab and that slab and then replace them with full cobblestone blocks and then put cobblestone stairs underneath nice little bit of trim going in here we like our trim we like our trim okay uh up into the roof we're going to take away that block and that block and replace them with full cobblestone blocks then we're going to take away one two three like this and one two three one two three like that there we go um so what we've got here is some upside down stairs there and there and then some stairs the correct way up there and there mm -hmm. yeah that looks okay to me what i'm gonna actually gonna do is replace that one and replace that one there we go so it's making kind of double height windows which i love it's a nice bit of detail back to cobblestone here and here again like so and then on top of them we've got uh, another piece of cobblestone another piece of cobblestone there like so okay at this stage we can just build up these bits of uh, wood until we get to here and here like that. And it means we can make a double high window, actually a double high window, which is really, really kind of a nice, a nice detail. I do like that detail indeed. Okay. How are we doing with this? So we're getting on pretty well. I would have thought, hmm. right. 
let me just double check that we've got this correct. Yeah, it looks all fine to me. This one's gonna be an upside down block like that. And then on top of that, we've got another piece of cobblestone with stairs either side. And these stairs can come across. Now what I'm gonna do is take away that one, make these into cobblestone as well, and then just bring this cobblestone across one, two, uh, one, two, three, and that one gets taken away and they suddenly join on right there. So there we go. That is looking mighty fine. Okay, so now it's more cobblestone. This cobblestone gets right stuck into there, like that. Good, good, good. On the side here, we can go one, like that. And I think that looks pretty smart as it is. Over here on my prototype, I did it kind of sticking out like this. But I don't know, which do you think looks better? I actually think that, I think that looks better. We're gonna go with that. So I'm not gonna put that block on. I think it just looks nice and flat like that. Okay, um, we need some cobblestone slabs here actually. One, two, three, four, five. And then we can do, yep, I'll show you how to finish that bit off in a second. So there we go, that is one of our beautiful windows what do you think what do you think I like this very much indeed do you know what I have done I have changed this block and this one on this side so that's a, that's an aesthetical an aesthetic option for you there really an aesthetic option so I just hold the camera there you guys can see probably exactly what is going on if you find it difficult to follow hopefully you find that pretty straightforward okay um, I'm gonna grab at this stage some dark oak fence gates. We're gonna go one, two, three there like that. And that is that window section there complete. So we need to add a few of these window sections. I'm gonna mark in exactly where they go. So um, imagine, well, that is a, a green block there to show you the left-hand side of where this actually starts. What I'm actually gonna do is put one right here. So there's one gonna go around there. Um, and there's going to be one that goes on the second last one here. So we need to have one there as well. Now on the back side, we want another one right here. Boom. So it's going to be exactly opposite this one. And we want one right here. Which is going to be exactly opposite this one as well. We've got one right here, and again, you guessed it, on the other side, we're gonna have one exactly opposite like that. Now, where did I put this other one? I put another one around here. Uh, yeah, a gap of two. Gap of two, so one, two, so there we go. Okay, so I'm gonna do that right now. Let me show you how to do. I, I would do this with a little bit of uh, world edit. I'm gonna add these bottom bits later on. So we're gonna so I'm gonna go from um, from there all the way to there, and I'll show you how this works in World Edit. Okay, slash slash copy. I need to stand right here and just paste this in like that. There we go. That's mighty fine. Right now I need to do one over here. I need to rotate this. 270 degrees, it spins it over to the left. Paste. And paste another one here. And don't forget that. We can tidy this up at this stage. There we go. And tidy this bit up as well. Bum, bum, bum. And you go there, and that's right there. Goody, goody, oh, missed this one out. Boom, there we go. Everything's looking fine at the top of the build as well, great. And then over here, we tidy these up as well. Oops, like that. This one digs down nicely as well. And that one doesn't need to be finished off, obviously. Oh, you would probably want a door here, let me just do this while I remember. You would definitely want a door here. This is obviously where you get into the build uh, as well. Some of my glass is messed up very slightly. Hmm. 
Sorry about my glass messing up there. I hope that isn't the like, same. Oh my goodness, my glass is all messed up. Right, obviously we've got some of these things to do. This is with depressing. Oh, it's all the same, right? I'll fix that off camera. Right, now we need to do, so we were facing that way. We need to do another rotate, 270. And we can paste, um, paste this one in as well. Oops, too far into the build. I need to stand out a bit, don't I need to stand right here. Uh, I need to stand right here. There we go, great. Obviously, I'm using world edits to speed things up because of the video, but um, nothing that can't be built by hand yourself. So there we go, two magnificent windows on that side. And then on this side, it's looking pretty smart as well. Oh, we need one here. Uh, as well, so we're facing that way. So another rotate the 270. And we'll get our last one pasted in. And this is pretty much the build finish, because this is, all the difficult jobs are now complete. They really are complete. All the difficult things are complete. Go there as well, great. Awesome, let's just check that I've put this one in here. And this one in here, we'll stand back and have a look at our handiwork, pretty smart. Where these connect at the top, I like to put on some little slabs, one, two, three, just for a little overlap connection there, and that looks pretty smart. That one doesn't need it. I'm gonna go one, two, three, and I'm probably just gonna change this one back into brick. There we go. Cool, yes, 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 yes. I like this very much. All right, yes, loving it, loving it, loving it. Right, uh, what is going to be the next thing that we do to our build? Hmm. Hmm. I think we're going to put on our balcony. So we're going to grab some oak logs and we're going to come out here. Two, 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 two. Uh, here, I guess we come out three blocks. One, two, three. Like that. And then one, two, one, two. Like that. This is going to form our balcony. Our balcony is going to wrap around pretty much the whole build. So one, two, three. Um, this one, I'm actually only gonna take out two, so that's a bit of a difference. Um, hmm. Hmm. These gates are too high. Oops, sorry guys, these gates should be down here. What a mistake at the makeup. Let's go and change these on the other sides as well. Yeah, it looks much better with the gates actually on the bone right there. There we go. Cool. Crisis averted. All right, back to our balcony. So it's just filling in these gaps here with some nice upper oak slabs. A nice three by three section in the corner. And this one's just two by two by three there. Grab your spruce frenzies or whatever you like and just wrap this around. And then good practice is probably to turn some of these into doors. So this middle one here looks like it could be a door. This middle one here could be a door as well. And maybe just have a door in the corner here as well. And you could recess those doors back if you wish. I quite like them to have them flush a uh, smidgen of detail, I'm going to go for some a dark oak button. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight buttons. Um, yeah, that's pretty good there. Okay, I wonder what the next stage should be. Hmm. Let's grab oak trap doors. I think I put uh, pressure plates on here, but I think these oak trap doors look pretty smart right there. Okay, so we've obviously got this extension over here to do. This little extension is our next job. So we're gonna grab some spruce logs and some dark oak stairs. Spruce logs. Um, as you can see, I'm also gonna grab some spruce fences. Ooh, look at this bit of trim that I forgot about. This beautiful oak plank trim. It's actually running around. Yeah, it runs around the whole build, this oak trim. So that's an important thing to do. Let's do that right now, this, this beautiful oak trim. 
So let's bring it out. Um, it's, it's actually a lower slab. It's a lower slab like that. That's interesting, isn't it? A lower slab. Hmm. Yeah. There we go. Let's just bring that lower slab right around there. Good. Yep, I like that bit of progress. I guess you could wrap it around the, the, the tower, maybe. I don't know how good it looks round, wrap, wrap around the tower. It maybe looks a little bit out of place by the time you get around to here. It looks a little touch. Ah, uh, oh, it's okay. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave that. That's fine. Right, so this is the end section here, as you can see, this section here, which we need to do. So I'm going to get rid of these upper slabs right now and then it's just a question of following the five by five building system so gap of three one two three four one two three four all the gaps of three there we go that's one section and then bring it out again little thrap of ghee there and across Cool, and then what we can do is give this some oak slab floorings. Now, obviously, since this is gonna be an extension to the house, you would probably just take those away. So you've got some rooms to walk through uh, and into this new section here. Next, we need to build this up one, two, three, four for one last five by five section. You'd be glad to know, <laughs> last five by five bit going in here and across here. And then, yeah, then we're gonna add along a little roof indeed. Let me grab spruce, uh, spruce stairs here. One, two, these are the key blocks. You can wrap, oops, wrap these round like that. It joins up to the slabs really nicely. And this one comes along here for dark. And yeah, just continue on up here with the usual roof, stair, blocks. And I like to do my little twiddly bit there. Like that, some of you may know. Oak planks, just to hide the gap right there. And then I'm gonna use um, oak stairs to run along like that. So this creates a nice little extension to the build. Obviously you've got a window there which you could just take that window out as well, make it kind of a walkway through into maybe an attic or storage area in your fortified house there. Up top here, gonna go spruce slab. And there we go. Just rotate the camera nice and slowly, let you see exactly <clears throat> what has been done. Uh, obviously we need some more bone block along here. If you haven't got bone block, you could use wool. White wool would do. Concrete, white concrete looks very good as well. I like the kind of the dirty texture of bone uh, as well. It does look very good indeed in terms of medieval fortified houses. There we go. Window, 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 window. Oh, door. Like that. Uh, these can come up here and you could probably put some. Fancy. So that was a lot to take in very quickly. So I can just, just move the camera really slowly around so you can see exactly what has happened there. Um, this could rather nicely just match up there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, we've got a chimney to put in. Uh, and that's, that's roughly about it. Ooh, uh, under here, do make sure you do this because that just looks really, really good from a distance. You see when I... When you step back, that just looks so much better than just that. Very plain. So make sure you've done this on the inside as well. All these bits looking smart. Uh, what should we do next? I think we're going to crack on with these gates here. These gates. I'm also going to grab um, some dark oak fences as well and combine them with these gates. So let's just wrap. So 
the dark oak fences are going to go opposite the uprights and this adds a real nice bit of detail on the corners though i stick them out one like that so instead of being opposite here i stick them out one and it just wraps around the corner very nicely so it's fence 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 and then gates in between keep on going around back to dark oak fence there good, good, good gate it looks really nice and contrasty this dark oak fence uh, in the inside corners you do that outside corners you do that yeah the dark oak fence looks really nice against the white i think kind of beautiful and here and then just keep on going make sure all these are complete dark oak fence in the inner corner dark oak fence there gate 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 oh my goodness a lot to do right um here i guess we just do that and then it's dark oak fence and i'll just take that right across oh oh my goodness oh my goodness and then uh you've got to do the same thing up top as well Oof. let me put all the fences in first fence 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 there um, i'm gonna put one in i don't know there i think just to finish things off there we go Okay, just before we do the chimney, I would also say I like to put in some trap doors on the windows. Not the double windows, but the single windows. I like to just do um, trap door like that. And it looks like there is a trap door over the window. Isn't that cool? Let's do one. Um, let's do this one right here, I suppose. Doesn't that, look, doesn't that look cool? So you could do that at the bottom and the top. I'm not going to do that just now, just for because of time constraints with this video. But suffice to say, you would just do that all the way around like that. We'll have a look at that one in a minute and you can see they're all in place. But we're going to put on a chimney next. I'm actually going to cheat a bit and just do the outside bit of the chimney. Um, but you can bring the chimney down and into the build. But I'm just going to actually just do it on the outside. So we're going to bring this all the way up here, first of all, through the roof. Like that, until it gets to... Hmm. Yeah, until it gets to there. That's fine, indeed. Um, this one's going to be where the actual chimney is. In there. That's something you can craft yourself make a nice fireplace on the inside of the build so that's good enough there that's going to come across here and then we're going to come up um one block there stairs and stairs and then just seal off this gap here like that uh, with a stair and that stair should be around about there. That's the chimney I invented. I don't think I'm very good at chimneys Maybe you can do a better chimney than me one two three more blocks on top and A cobblestone wall and we'll just hold the camera there for a few seconds Let you catch up if you are indeed doing the chimney and that is the build finished folks There's nothing else to do apart from the interior. Let me show you what other details I've put onto this build obviously I've put a tree upon some nice paths path goes through there really nicely kind of comes around here and then goes through there nicely as well um, as you can see I've got the trap doors on the windows top and bottom I've got a tree some grass and that is pretty much the build finished nice and plain around the sides you know one thing you could do which might make the build look really very cool indeed you might want to put some window boxes in roughly round about there and this would look actually very smart indeed and especially if you did this this would actually look really cool like that. doesn't that look really really cool as a window box and then you could put a flower 
in your window box, just like that, there we go. And you can make it a double height flower if you remove the trap door, or I guess you would just move the trap door over one like that. In fact, that's really where the, the, the trap door really should be over there. Hmm. Trap door really should be there. If I change the way I do my trapdoors, that's where the trapdoor should be. Why am I putting it there? That's kind of weird. Anyway, yeah, you can make that a double height there, and you've you've got yourselves there a window box, and that just has it helps to break up the build as well, make it look a bit more interesting as well. There you go. Thank you so much indeed for watching. If you would like a block count and some extra screenshots, then check out the post that's going to be on my Patreon from the 20th of May. That's uh, I'm recording this on the 19th of May. On the 20th of May, I'm going to make a, uh, 2019. I'm going to make a post on my Patreon for all my Patreons, which show a full block count. If you want to know the yeah, a full block count of the whole build and some extra pictures of the different stages to help you, kind of a Patreon's guide to this build. So do check out patreon.com forward slash Andy Isyoda. You can download this build as well. I'll put this straight onto the Patreon as well and you can get uh, all my other 5x5 builds downloaded every month as well as well as newsletters you get to add me as a friend on discord and you get access to my minecraft creative building server on java edition for a pc thank you so much indeed for watching very much appreciated indeed take care for now ciao ciao with the blocks be with you